Hey guys, Keith here with SlingMods.com. I wanted to do a video here on a new product that we have available on the website. We have a power distribution block, uh, or fuse block, that will allow you to run up to six independently fused circuits to run additional accessories, 12 volt accessories, like radar detectors, or the halo lights, or um, the curb alert, or uh, horn relays, anything like that. And the reason that we feel this is important is because the battery and the slingshot's in the back for weight distribution. So when you're getting into running more than just one 12 volt accessory, you get a spaghetti factory of wires running back and forth and tapping fuses and back to the battery and it just gets really sloppy. So this cleans all that up and puts everything at one central distribution hub. Uh, we sell this as a kit. It comes with the power distribution block, the zip ties, ground wire, full-time 12 volt that will that has a 30 amp fuse built in wire looming fuses and then your ignition 12 volt which will tap off the positive lead on the cigarette lighter in the glove box this also comes with an inline inline fuse and a tap a fuse so you don't have to cut any wires now what makes this fuse block better than any of the other ones we found on the market is that this has an onboard relay and what it does is it allows you to run your circuit either full-time 12 volt so you can use it when the slingshot is off or ignition 12 volt so it allows you to power that circuit when the ignition turns on and let me show you what it looks like underneath the cap here so when you're once you have this open you could see that constant 12 volts here and switch 12 volts here so once you get your power ignition power and ground hooked up to this this fuse box, you can decide per circuit if you want it to be switched ignition power or 12 volt full time power and you simply just switched would be center pin and right pin for the fuse and full time would be center pin and left pin for the fuse. So it's really easy to move those back and forth depending on what that circuit is set up to do. Uh, so I'm going to um, do an installation video here as well and the first step on that is to remove this little compartment door uh, where the battery is located. Okay, the first part of the installation is running your power and ground. Uh, so I want to run your power line back to your to the back of the slingshot near the battery. You don't want to hook this up yet though because you don't want to be working with a live 12 volt lead here. Uh, so just kind of leave it dangling here with enough room to hit the uh, positive battery terminal when we are ready to hook this up live it actually pokes through there's a nice convenient hole here that uh, the loom fits through so you don't have to drill any holes or anything it just goes right through actually to run the wire from the back to the front took me about a minute um, you just run it here uh, on the SL model the speaker wire for the enclosure comes down the front here I just I'm just gonna zip tie this all up when I'm done and make it look clean and factory um, and then it pokes through right here as a convenient little hole that it just comes through right here. I'm actually going to mount the uh, fuse block right here next to the factory fuse block. It's a good location because it's away from engine heat and uh, it's, uh, it's not going to get hit by any water or anything like that. Now on the ground, there's actually a couple bolts here for the, for the hood latch on the driver's side. I took out the front one and I mounted my ground right here. The ground wire doesn't need to be long because the fuse box is going to be right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this with looming too before I'm finished so it looks factory. Um, next thing I'm going to do is tap off the cigarette lighter, the positive lead on the cigarette lighter uh, to get my ignition switch signal for the fuse block. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, the next part of the install is to hook up the 12 volt ignition lead so that we can get a signal when the key is turned on to the fuse box as well. So what we're going to do is tap into the positive line on the, on the cigarette lighter in the glove box on the passenger side. That's a gray wire with a red stripe. I disconnected it from the cigarette lighter just so it was easier to access, but I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in now. The kit comes with this wire tap. You don't have to cut anything. It goes right in and taps into this uh, inline fuse with the wire and then this yellow wire will go back into the fuse box to give us our ignition signal. And then you're going to want to wrap all this with looming and everything just so it looks factory. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Here's the fuse box with the top off. 
Um, you're going to run your three lids in here at the top. They have set screws here to hold them in place. There's a 12 volt DC which is full time 12 volt from the battery, positive terminal. There's the plus VT which is switched ignition power which we hooked into the positive lead on the cigarette lighter in the, on the passenger side uh, in the glove box there. And then the ground is going to be connected to the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and install those three wires now and um, move on to the next step. I finished the installation of the accessory fuse block for the Polaris slingshot. I have my full time power and my switched power and my ground hooked up in the three terminals up here. And now when you want to install an accessory, a 12 volt accessory, here's your ground bus, here's your 12 volt output bus, and you just hook ground here, power here, and then whether you want it as a switched or constant 12 volt circuit, you just either put your fuse on these two pins or these two pins. And then it also comes with a, a cover here that has two set screws. And then the only other thing that needs to be done to complete the install is, which I've already done, is to hook up the 12 volt full time power to the positive battery terminal and reinstall this little plastic panel here. Well thank you guys for watching the install. This product's available at slingmods.com.